the shuttlecock. Now the shuttlecock is uh, a style of fly that represents the emerging midge. I mean it's, it suspends the midge pattern itself in the surface of the water. I mean it actually would be sitting like this and uh, the water would be lying here suspending your midge pattern below. This one here is the yellow owl or a quill bodied version uh, that works extremely well. I mean it, it does represent a few of the midge patterns that's coming off and uh, this is the one I prefer out of them all. There's a few methods you can use to suspend the midge pattern or a buzzer as we say in the UK. The next one I would say would be the sugar lump buzzer. This is the yellow version again. Just basically the quill body, but here's the ear or something that they throw it. And the ether foam tied over the eye. And it sits it very close to the surface. Personally I prefer this one when it's really flat calm. The other the shuttlecock, I mean you can trim the C D C down, but this one uh, very good fly, worth certainly having in your box. And the other way to represent a uh, image, I mean, with the clink camera originally, it was, I would say, put together to represent the cadence coming off in the river. But it's a very good dress and a good pattern or style to represent the image coming off as well. The hook I'm going to be using is uh, a camas and B110 size 16. Uh, it's got a very good hook. Um, it's strong. It's not thick. Uh, I mean, people will think the 110 is too thick a wire, but when it comes to the size 16, you know, it doesn't matter. It's the, the wire strength is, is not that heavy. I mean, most will float, most materials will float these hooks. Uh, but anyway, into your vise. Now the thread I'm going to be using is Uni 8O Black. Just put a layer of thread down to the thread touches a point on the line with the point of the hook and then bring it back up to the eye itself. Now you're probably about three or four turns short of the eye and then you ask where you want to be tying in your CDC. Now I've got three medium sized CDC feathers lying on top of one another and all you do is pull pull them in nice and tight make sure they're, they're tight they're lined up now the length you're looking for basically is just the full length of the hook there over the eye tight over the front of the eye nice and tight and then come in and trim Away the waist. Make sure. Then what you want to do then get a thread round the bend of the hook. About this point here. Now the, the quill to actually get the quill itself, this is the peacock eye. And this one's been dyed a nice bright yellow. As you can see the colours on the back. The more colour the better, in my case, you want, especially if you're dying it, you want to see more white. It's a peacock ice, obviously, but you just take a single strand. And as you can see, there's a fine hair. Now you have to remove this hair. That's what you do. There's lots of ways you can do it. I use, like, a rubber. Onto the table and rub it off. And you can end up with something like that. Completely... No hair left. You don't want any hair. Okay. Now I'm going to tie it in here with this wee curly end here is what you get. You get this when you tear this off. So right at the very bottom is a wee fine hair. It's flexible, it means it can actually you can turn it. When you go to turn put the first turn in, it doesn't break. More so if it's been dyed. If it's been dyed it's slightly brittle. Then what you want to do is bring it on, tie it in, bring your thread up, all the way to this point here. Okay. Now you can put varnish or super glue underneath. 
it's up to yourself and then just wind over the top or what I like to do is take it up first now see your first turn you may get a wee curl just rub your nail on that there that flattens it down then touch and turns take your curl up your body as you see it does form a really nice body all the way up this point here and tie it off trim away the waist now basically you could stop just now even if you wanted and have it just as it is in this case I prefer to a wee bit of dubbing just to give the impressions that it's starting to hatch burst open now this is just a fox squirrel dubbing a natural dubbing it's got some fine guard hairs in there that just pop out when you need them just give an impression of a leg or two all then you do is this up to the CDC pull the CDC back now I like to put a turn right in there that's why you need to have about 3 or 4 turns short of the eye so you can get the turns in take away your excess Make sure it's sitting okay. Just clean your thread and then what I like to do is some varnish onto the thread and you're straight in wet finish. This is I think makes a better body. You pull everything towards the eye, pull it right over the eye at the road, anything, any fine hairs or anything that's in the road, just take them back and then varnish this, varnish your cold body and it will last for ages. If you do get a bit of hair that I have here, you can come in with a pair of tweezers and take it away. Or sometimes just leave it until it dries because then it can be easily broken off. Anyway, that's the yellow or quilt bodied shuttlecock. Mm -hmm.